Hello everyone, how are you today? My name is Constance. As a matter of fact, happy Easter to everyone, everyone who's watching, and thank you for subscribing. I'm Constance, and welcome today to one more of my English classes, okay? Today we're going to be talking about commas, and that's a continuation from last week's lesson, alright? So commas are used to give an additional information or an explanation. Common, commas are used to give additional information or explanation. Here I've given you an example. Patrick Smith. Who is Patrick Smith? He's the baker and he lives on our street. So here are the ad additional information about Patrick Smith. He's a baker, comma, he lives on our street. All right? So it is used to give additional information and or an explanation. So Patrick Smith, the baker, lives on our street. So you know that Patrick Smith, he not only lives on our street, but he's also a baker. Here again, we have commas are used to separate names of persons being addressed are used to separate names of person being addressed. Okay, not the address as talking to, but the, the person that you're speaking with. So I says, Mary, please take your seat. I'm addressing Mary. I'm telling Mary what to do. So I said, Mary, I'm addressing Mary. Mary, please take your seat. Okay, so I'm addressing her. So I use the comma to separate her name from what I'm stating to her. Commas are also used to set off a direct quotation. Commas are used to set off a direct quotation. Let's see. Let's go to the movies. Let's go to the movies, comma. Someone is saying, let's go to, to the movies. The person who said it, John, James said. So James said, let's go to the movies. So you put a comma within that quotation mark, and then you, say, you write, said James. So James is the person who has spoken that we should go to the movie. So he said, let us go to the movie, or let's go to the movie. We use a an apostrophe s right here so he's saying the apostrophe s would means let us so it says let us go to the movies said james all right i have taken some time to give you some additional information about commas also a comma is a short pause and must be used only to make the meaning of the sentence clearer for the reader therefore whenever you're writing and you want the, the person to understand exactly what you're saying you will put a comma to separate those the two different ideas that you're stating so a comma is a sh is a short pause so you pause to bring in a new idea and must be used only to make the meaning of the sentence clearer for the reader i hope you have enjoyed this class i thank you for watching please like subscribe and share and have a blessed holiday season thank you bye